<laughs> Admiral Cohen, a reprise of This Is Your Life. <laughs> I am the very model of the science undersecretary. I ladle pretty answers to the men who write the checkery. I groupify each order of each virus and bacterium, and stupefy the Senate until they fall into delirium. <laughs> I plausibly opine on panels physical and chemical, and supplicate for revenue while acting academical, on radio receivers that are interoperatable. I solemnly will testify with costs infallible. <laughs> Science under secretary. I'm grounded and cemented in all matters infrastructural, as slippery and demented as a shiny intellectual. I understand the internet and what a knickerbocker is. I scarcely ever break a sweat or know where Dr. Walker is. <laughs> For posing on election eve, a Tuttle or a Roush will do. For bargaining with Tel Aviv, a diplomatic pouch or two. Oh, I can face the press without my sycophantic coterie. And pick apart a bomb without consulting Dr. Doherty. <laughs> And I can pull a rabbit from the trouser of Chris Doyledom while blowing more hot air than any under in snake oildom. In short, in higher techetry and autographing checketry, I am the very model of a science under secretary. <laughs> For Masters and McGinnis, I will chew the fat to innovate with every hungry Edison who ever licked a dinner plate. When challenged by a journalist, I'll hand the mic to Jericho. He'll spin her till she wouldn't know a jabberwock from Jericho. Louder. To ferret out a dirty bomb, I'll do as Dr. Hutter says. For I can be agreeable, no matter what my mother says. I'll welcome every grilling by the Democrat transition team. Transition, addition, ambition, cognition. Ah, a lunch I'll have them shilling for my dynamite transition scheme. <laughs> And when they'll get a gander for my new concern for privacy, the topic will meander to ensuring my survivacy. That's why in higher techetry and autographing checketry, I am the very model of a modern undersecretary. <laughs>